Okay, I'm going to show compound paths. So a compound path is a way to create a shape that has another shape cut out of it so you can see through those shapes. And it's one of the ways that you get a circle cut out of a, another circle, let's say, and then you can see through that or for like certain letters, like the letter O is basically a compound path because you have the inside of the O and then you have the letter form itself. So to kind of explain what I'm talking about, let's say I wanna make a mask um, for this character that I'm drawing here. So first I will draw my mask and I'll use the curvature tool here, draw something like this. And so let's say these are like um, glasses or goggles of some sort for the character. And I'm just gonna drag this in. I'll use um, transform. So E E is the keyboard shortcut to just shorten this part here. Kind of rotate it a little bit. And then I will use reflect to reflect, let's say this piece here. So uh, what you can do with the reflect tool is grab a couple shapes and create symmetry. So O is the keyboard shortcut. And then once you have those shapes selected, you click, then you hit option or alt and shift, and then you can have some symmetry there. And then I'm going to take all of these shapes and I'm going to combine them into one shape. And for that, I'm going to use the Pathfinder tools. So I'll go into window, go into Pathfinder, and then here I'm going to click Unite. So it's one complete shape. And then there's some parts that I have to clean up a little bit. So I will use the pen tool or actually um, first I'll select it with the direct selection tool. So I'll hit A and then I'll hit the minus sign on the keyboard for the delete anchor point tool and kind of clean up some of these points here. Okay, and now I have a shape for my goggles. And to show you the Pathfinder tool, I'm gonna to cut out the part where you actually look through. To show this happening, I'm going to fill the actual shape with black. So I will use my selection tool to select the shape, go into the fill color swatch and pick black. And now I'm going to create the areas that I'm going to cut out and use that compound path tool. So I will use another oval here, draw on top. And what might be a good idea is to actually sh change your fill color to something else so you can actually see the new shape. So I'll do that. And then I will also reflect this so I have two of these. Um, pink ovals to cut out. So to reflect it, I need a guide to help me to get some good symmetry with the reflect tool. So I'm gonna drag out a ruler. If you don't have rulers available, hitting Command or Control R have, will have your rulers appear on the top and side of the page. You can drag out a ruler, drag it here. select the pink oval, hit O for the reflect tool and kind of get on top of that guide that you created. And then again, hit option and shift and kind of drag it over. So now I have two of these. So 
I'm going to cut the pink ovals out of the main black lenses here. So I will select one pink oval, select the black frame. And for the compound path, I'll go to object all the way to, at the bottom, compound paths and hit make. And that cuts the pink oval out of the frames to create a opening for somebody to, to see through. I'll do the same with the other pink oval. Um, keyboard, keyboard shortcut is control or command eight. And now I just cut out those two ovals. So when I grab the, the new shape now, and drag it over here, you can see I can see through it. Um, last thing I'll do, I'll just scale this in uh, a little bit here. And that's how you use the, the compound shape tool. So it's really to cut openings into shapes to create a shape that has like a hollow inside. The keyboard shortcut again is Command or Control-8. And you find that under Object all the way at the bottom here under Compound Path.